Barack Obama has divided the races in America more than anyone else in the history of America. We're more divided. And the reason that he did that, because he knew that if he could divide the races, he could conquer them in order to get what he wants. Because the Democratic Party is about politics and wealth and power. They're not about the people. They're about politics. So what Barack Obama did, he lied and pretended that white police officers were against black folks. That somehow or another, walking down the road or driving down the road, if you're black, that somehow or another you run the risk of being attacked or killed or arrested by a police officer. But what he didn't tell you is that most of the people who get in trouble with police officers in this country are criminals. They're thugs. They're getting what they deserve. Good black folks are not getting in trouble with police officers. For an example, Michael Brown, you remember Michael Brown, right? Trayvon, Trayvon uh, Martin. Those guys were thugs. And Trayvon Martin, I'm gonna tell you in a minute, we're gonna take some questions in a minute here. <laughs> Once again, please respect the speaker. We will be taking questions. I'm sure you guys have a lot of them. Again, please respect the speaker. It will do you no good not to respect the speaker. It just prolongs the discussion. Let's open up the questions later, but please respect the speaker as he is talking. Thank you very much. For the example, both Trayvon Martin and Michael Brown grew up without their parents. They were not married. They were not together. And with Michael Brown, Whenever Michael's father tried to go and pick him up from his mother's house, the mother would not allow it to happen. She gave him a hard time. It got so bad that Michael, Michael's father had to send someone else over there to pick him up. And then Michael eventually went to live with his uh, father. But because his father's life was out of control, he had to move out of his house. He moved in with his uh, grandmother. And by this time, Michael was a big big kid, and because, and the worst thing that can happen to children, male or female, doesn't matter what your culture is, your race is, the worst thing that can happen is to be turned away from your fathers. Because when you're turned away from your fathers, it leaves an anger, it leaves a void in your life, and nothing else can satisfy that void but a return to the father. We don't agree with, with that, and I think that there's going to be just some severe disagreement. Can we move? All right, thank you very much. Can we move to the next question? I apologize. There's never, there's never going to be an agreement between the two, the two parties. So I, just, I, I think that in, in, the, in the interest of having civil discussion and everyone not rushing the stage, I think we should move to the next question. Thank you. I do want to add that there are laws in this country that governs and protect all of us as American citizens. And homosexuals and LGBT people are protected under those same laws. We don't need special laws for special people. We all are Americans and we should all be treated the same under the law. Remember earlier I said there is a right and a wrong. 
what we have to realize that liberals are liars. And then <laughs> As a matter of fact, it's in, it is an embarrassment for black Americans to be included in these studies. They're only using black Americans because they have a hidden agenda. And so they bring in blacks in order to get blacks to agree with them and to get them to go along with whatever their agenda is. Any black American who is qualified, who is educated, who is willing to work, to get a job in America. These companies, these businesses are look, looking for qualified folks. They don't care what color you are. They don't care if you are male or female. As long as you're qualified, you can get a job in America. So the studies are lies, don't talk to them, and don't believe anything that a liberal has to say. The fact is that Black Lives Matter is a racial, radical, evil organization. They are worse than the KKK. Wait, let, him, let him have a say. They are worse than the KKK. And black, America, and black America who are suffering are not suffering because of racism. They are suffering because they are growing up without fathers and mothers in the home. And these kids are first being made angry in the home about that. And rather than dealing with that anger, Let him finish. Go, Let him finish. go ahead and keep Rather than going. dealing with that anger, they go out into the community and they have people like Jesse Jackson and the NAACP, Barack Obama and others telling them it's the white man. Yes. And when you're already angry, it's hard to believe the truth. But we do respect the right to say that. It just seems as if the, the, view, the, the room right now is too contentious and that obviously uh, the views are provoking a lot of responses. So we've got we've to we've we've shut down the speaker. I apologize to everyone in the room. We, uh, we, we cannot ask any more questions because if, if the questions are to provoke anything like the last question, we, they're just not going to do anything. Um, I apologize. And um, thank you, uh, Reverend, for coming in here and, and speaking to us. Um, we really appreciate it. Um, and uh, yes, so uh, we have to uh, we have to cut down the speech now, and uh, we are going to take our announcements for the rest of our of our opening speakers. Thank you guys very much. Um, if you guys would like to talk to the Reverend, maybe um, we'll go and talk to minutes after outside. Yeah, that's um, so. If you like, if you like to interrogate his ideas outside after opening session, you can. But um, it, the, the speech is no longer available. Thank you very much. Before you just go, speak to for yourself. I want you to start thinking for yourself. Don't just listen to what someone else says. Examine it. Look for yourself and know what's right and know what's wrong. Then you can make your own decisions. That's what you need to start doing. Thank you so much for having me.
So you're a Christian? Yes. You grew up a Christian? Yes. And, and, uh, and you're, you're a Christian too? I am. Did you grow up with your father or just your mother? Just my mother. Where's your father? I don't know. Wow. Why don't you ask your mother to find your father? Don't you? need it. Don't need that validation. You don't need your father? No. Nope. You just need your mother? Yes. You don't correct. need your father's validation? No. Why not? not at all. Why would I? Do you why, need why validation from a patriarchal figure? For my for father? I need it you need my that father. validation? From, I need it for, I don't need it now. But, I need but if you're a Christian, the only validation you should need is from your father in heaven. Why do you need your father on earth? Wait, do you love your father on earth? I love my father in heaven. Do you love your father on I earth? I love everyone. No. That's a Christian view of mine. Do you love your father on earth? Yeah, I love everyone. I ask you, do you love your father on earth? Yeah, I love everyone. You're, do you love your father that made you? I love everyone, yes. You're not answering my question. I just said yes, I love everyone. I didn't ask you about everyone. Do you love everyone? I didn't ask you about him. That's a question that you, I, I do you love everyone. Everyone. You love everyone. everyone. Do you love your father? You yes, love your father. I love everyone. You see, you're not answering the question. Am I saying yes? Yeah. Just answer directly. Yes, I love everyone. Is that not a direct Did answer? Did I ask you about everyone? No, but you're asking you about me your question. Do you I'm love your mother? You. Yes. See how, see how you answer about love your everyone. mother, but you didn't answer straight about your but father. But if I love everyone, why not? No, you say yes to the mother, but you won't say okay, yes to your yes. father. I love my father. Now you're not being honest. How am I not being honest? <laughs> because you're lying right now. You're going to be lying. You are lying. How do you know? You answered your rant about your mother, but, how do you, but you did not answer your rant about your father. Okay. You don't love your father. Okay, I know. And as long as you don't love your father, you're never going to be happy. Really? Yeah. Wow. And you're never going perception. to know God. I did not know that. I know you so if someone, um, if someone's father died after they what were are we born, waiting for? can they not know God? I'm sorry, say that? Do they not know God? Did somebody go off with the validation? If they forgive their father for not being there, yes. If they forgive their father for dying? For not being there. For dying? For not being there. Can you answer it directly? Not for dying. No, not for dying. So what's the, yeah, what's forgiveness is right. Even in some cases for dying, so go because ahead. kids feel like their father left them. I mean, they don't yeah. understand it. They understand it as they okay. get older, but...